If you weren't aware, in Minecraft 1.14, they added a feature where if you have a trapdoor on blocks like this and you press it, you go down into a one block space and it looks pretty funny. But today, that's the whole concept of the video. We're going to be making a base, a one, one block tall base. And uh, hopefully it turns out pretty good. We're going to see what we can fit into there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. First, you just need an entrance, which would look something like this. And you would go up to the, the trapdoor and press that and you're good to go. You're in the base. And uh, now we just need to build an area and then uh, we'll see what we can get inside okay so here's kind of the concept I have right now you can see it's one block tall you head over here uh, you click on one of the trap doors you're in you can close it just like that you know whatever you can leave it I don't care um, and then you come into here and you're in a one block area as you can see I'm basically swimming on the floor um, and then if I head over here um, what I'm thinking is having a multi-layered base um, now I have to think of a way for this to actually work um, because if I do go in this hole then I'm back standing up and then I have to press another trap door to go back down into this layer which I still have two so I can walk around um, so I have to figure that out um, I think I might have an idea and I'll be back when I'm done okay so this took a lot of time thank you to mumbo jumbo for his video which kind of helped me but not too much so basically wait if I, yep if I get here this should push me down yeah we're going down um, and then when we get to the level I want to get to here, uh, we should be able to go ahead and hop off. And just like that, we're good. Um, now, if I actually fill this in, uh, it would keep us on that same level. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so I'm on this level now. And if we go over to here and we wait for my turn, we hop on this block. We should go up. Yep, we're moving up. And just like that, we have a nice little uh, one by, I don't even know what dimensions this is, a piston elevator that works in the base and it's very compact very small i hit the redstone pretty well uh, let me show you guys how to actually uh, kind of get around and turn this off uh, you press this right here and it stops the whole system um, i need to make a way so we can probably hit that button from every floor um, so i'll figure that one out once we get started here uh, but now let's actually get into the build itself like the interior of what i want um, so first floor uh, i'm thinking like a nice little apartment area where it has all of the needs that you ever like you know the furnace the crafting bench stuff like that uh, right up in this top area uh, so let me clear the inventory here and let's go ahead and just grab what we need a furnace a crafting area some chests uh, what else can we fit a jukebox I guess um, what else would we want in a area like this a bed maybe even though that won't work so it's probably not worth it um, that's probably about it that's probably all you need up here um, so we can just kind of move these around as we please we can do like a crafting bench that blocks all that light but that's fine uh, furnace over there and then on this side uh, we could do something I mean you move very slow through this base we could do some chests over here why not have a little bit of storage if I actually make the roof slabs then we can get through this but I don't have it as slabs because it looks better um, but I probably should change it to slabs so that we can open the chests in the base or you know what even better uh, we don't actually need chests uh, I forgot that they added barrels uh, wherever those are I don't really know where those are so we'll, oh, right here we can actually just use bar barrels for storage uh, because they don't require any space to, you can just open it just like that so we can just have a bunch of barrels over here and um, it looks pretty nice actually the way it looks with the white is not bad so we just add that in and yeah there we got the storage uh, we got the basic stuff over there um, and then I guess just for looks we can add the bed and stuff um, even though it doesn't really it won't help at all uh, you just throw the bed right over here I mean you can't really sleep in it but I mean that's kind of what else would you need in the first floor that's that's your basics right there if I'm going through stuff I don't see anything else you would really need um, necessarily so that's probably it for the first floor we'll leave it at that pretty minimalistic um, and then on the other floor uh, we probably should do some farming and stuff like that so I gotta figure out a design for that and I'll be back okay guys so I made the first farm over here in the very small base um, so you come down to this floor and you have this right here so you got to stay behind this block you uh, put down your carrots or whatever it grows shoots it out and you just keep doing this over and over and it keeps growing and stuff like that and it works perfectly and uh, it's very small very compact blends in just to the side of the wall 
um and then i gotta think of something else i want to put in here uh but let's go ahead and get into that okay so for this sugarcane farm basically it's the concept that uh once the sugarcane grows up too high and it touches the observer both of them get hit down so let's say there's one there and this one grows up um it breaks all of that and you can collect that um and it's pretty simple i'll show you as this one basically it's just water next to those two blocks um and in the back we have observers looking forward and two pieces of redstone there with pistons and that is it for that farm um so it's a very nice little small sugarcane farm not saying it's going to be super effective however it will get the job done okay so this farm is pretty simple um so basically you're gonna have two dispensers in a corner uh this one is going to need a lava bucket in it and then um this one is going to have eggs in it so i already have some chickens in there so basically i have a hopper set up right where the chickens are so they drop an egg it goes into the hoppers into the chest um, which i hasn't happened yet because you know they haven't done anything yet i just put them in there basically the, the, the thing is you press this lever once and then you turn it off and the chickens do drop their stuff i think i did actually burn the chicken though but they do drop stuff i promise um but and then to get more in there you just take the eggs that you had and you just shoot them in there and eventually you'll get baby chickens and yep there you go you can start hearing them now so you have the baby chickens they'll grow up and then you'll have more eggs and stuff and uh yeah for the farming level i would say that's pretty good you kind of have what you need here you have um like the actual crops you have sugar cane and you have the uh what's it called the chicken for food um so that's not bad for this level and uh, let's see if there's anything else i should probably do to this base just a little update on the sugarcane farm i actually found that if you put the, the uh, hopper minecarts under the sugarcane when it breaks it'll actually all go in there and you can just pick it up like that so that way you don't have to come over here and collect it and worry about it despawning you can just actually afk and it'll produce it um so that works out pretty well um now with this sugarcane farm i've only made it small just to kind of show that you could put it in this kind of base you could make it bigger you can make it a whole wall if you want to i'm making everything kind of small the base isn't going to be filled up you could do all of this larger scale if you wanted to um but i'm just kind of showing how it works now something i completely forgot about was enchantment so we're going to be turning this level that i just made into some form of enchantment room i gotta think of a cool design and uh let's go ahead and get into that okay so this is what i came up with so you you, you hop off and you have this little black carpet which has the cool little red particle effects and i got those because i put uh, redstone underneath of it which gives off that effect and it brings you over to the enchantment table you have the books around it um and then over here i have anvils with barrels so that you can put in your lapis and stuff um and extra books or whatever you want um and yeah so that's pretty good and that's pretty much it the one of the smallest bases you can have in minecraft it's literally one tall and uh one chunk so it's pretty small so if you guys did enjoy or you'd like a download or something to this map or anything like that just let me know in the comments and i can make that happen but thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll see all of you in the next one peace out guys